Here we go. This is some of Doug's footage, guys, right here. I've already done some filtering. Doug gets the strangest stuff. This ain't just, you know, this ain't just a circle over the sun. If that's even the sun. But up here you got, like, Nibiru coming in. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> it's pretty intense, Doug. So I'm going to just show some of the highlights of what I didn't show you last month. Um, these are October, um, November, dates are not wrong, it's all Ohio, up by Erie Lake. <laughs> but he, Doug's got some of the best red planets over the sun that I've seen. So, I got a lot of footage from Doug, so I will be showing a lot of it. And right here... We've got these finger clouds right there. It's a giveaway. See the cut in right there? You guys see that cut in? I don't know. There's your red planet again, Doug. Doug's got so much footage, he's just anxious for me to put it out. He's like, Chris, put it out, put it out. I said, well, I gotta do a little extra work on his stuff. But that's okay, because that's the camera that he has. There's a lot of red coming up in that northern sky. Anything on the right's northern sky. Here you've got an object. Here's the sun. Here's a pink object or red. And then there's the black planet right there. This is June, June, July. So it doesn't matter if it's old footage. Um, it's some, some of the best footage. This is pretty cool. You can see in the night sky. This is Doug. You can see these planets rise. This was a good capture, Doug. Check this out. You can just see them. They're like just coming up, orbs or whatever they are. Whatever it is, it's pretty not right. <laughs> hey, look at the difference in the color. This this could be right here. Um, R2. Because R2 is purple. Definitely, these could be like some of the asteroids coming through. Now, this shot was pretty interesting. It's kind of distorted out, but here's a house. This is Doug, and then you got this. This is a nighttime shot. This is the north side. <laughs> this is the south north, uh, southwest, northwest. I don't know if that's Doug's house, but yeah, he took two pictures. See the split right there? I left it kind of so I can remember. Doug's got some strange stuff. Okay, let's play with this one. This is looking, I think, north. At seven, eight o'clock at night on July. Oh my God, Doug, look at that. Oh no, in June. 11 p.m. Okay, so down here was a corrected. I talked to Doug about that, but look at this. Let's try to clean it up some. I mean, if you've seen that in the in the north side, look at the roundness to it. If you've seen that in the north sky and didn't take a picture, I'm sorry. Because that's just amazing, Doug. Now, you see this square stuff? This is part of the screen Doug's taking the picture off, so don't let that bother you. That's not um, any kind of like uh, paranormal stuff going on. Ain't that strange? Good shot, Doug. Uh, what do I think it is? Could be a gas giant. Um, could be a stellar core of a, just something rogue of that system. It could be Nepicity. I guess Nepicity is kind of green. I don't know. You guys comment. Tell me. I can't know everything. Or I'd be God. And I'm not God. Believe me. It'd be easy to pay my rent. Um, but that's a north sky. That's a northwest sky, I believe. That's west. That's insane. I guess the sun went down and that's what he got. Okay, next. Like that weird music? <laughs> I like these weird pictures. See the ones that are blacked out? What's happened is... Um, the picture's already pretty dark, so if I do any kind of dark stuff to it, it literally blacks it out, so I'll lose the picture. Sorry. Something there. It's hard to make out. I can't really filter these too much more than they are. 
That could be a mothership, I don't know. Anywho. That's definitely a little star. Not the moon, guys. Not the moon underneath the cloud or underneath this planet. That is not that's one of the moons from the debris, I think. Good shot. Or a UFO. I like this song. I hope it's not too loud, guys. If this is too loud, it's because I'm dealing with uh, my not too great system. You guys seen that before. Some of you guys have seen some of these. Feel like this one. I know you've seen the last one. Look at that little planet right there. Now this is um, what I see. This is a little towards the northwest. This is Nibiru coming down. There's a little different color on it. Same picture. Oh, no, I think it's a little bit darker. Now here's one with the sun right up in it. And you see the planet coming out here. I don't know what this light is. Um, let's see a little filter on it. Let's go dehaze. Make it a little darker. See what's in there. So when it's already been somewhat filtered like Doug has it, it doesn't give a true reading of what I'm getting. Like I don't know if that's a true reading of anything. But it's pretty chaotic looking. It could be a lead object there. This right here, oh. It's I'm running out of resources, I'm doing too much. That's what happens on my side. It frees up when I do too much at once. So let me go allocate some resources. I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. Oh no, Doug, what that is, but it's pretty strange looking. You got that cutout right there. What you guys think? There's a couple TRB3s right there. I think this is part of the um, the outside of the planet. I think Rebecca shows it as like a a red kind of like a caterpillar looking thing. Anyways, this right here is not just the sun and this cut off. This is a planet right here, blocking, or it looks like it is. Okay, I'll just say it looks like it. What you guys think? Anyways, good morning. It's the day after Christmas. I learned more about Christmas this year, and I think I like it less than I did in the last 20 years. So, um, I had a great Christmas. I wasn't bound up by all the laws of shopping. Because um, I don't do a lot of shopping. kind of stopped doing Christmas in 92. Um... That's a good one, Doug. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty freaky looking, guys. I think I'll do Doug's pictures all day. There's so many. I don't want to rush to them, Doug, you know? I kind of want to see my resources. I have to go reallocate them. But this video should come out okay. You guys should be able to hear quite a bit on it. See, I'm having a problem with my resources right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to end this video. So, Rick Norris. Rick Norris channel, guys. Go check it out. I'm going to give him a shout out right there. He's got a song, The Gambler. He's got another one, You're Not Alone. I play them all the time, and I hope you guys enjoy them. They're a little... He was a part of a... I don't know what band, but there were some pretty famous bands he was a part of. And he said, I have rights. Just, he said, just use my, my, uh, my music. Don't worry about copyrights. And you guys go check it out. Give him a thumbs up. He don't have a lot of followers. The old rock and roll guy, man. Good guy at break. He does great. <laughs> but Doug, these are some trippy looking pictures right there. That's some incoming planets. I hope I didn't show this already. I think I did, but you know, it's so good. Look at this stuff. Incoming. You can see it. The whole blue incoming. All right. Next video. Same. Bat channel, guys. Just gonna pump out a bunch of Doug videos, so get ready. Look at that face. Woo! Woo! Subscribe. Like, bye.